This Lenovo all-in-one computer is a prime example of the kind of things that I don't really like very much. I've come to really hate Lenovo in general. Um, I never liked IBM. A lot of people like IBM because they think IBM is so great. Their, uh, their hardware is so great. IBM's hardware was never great. They don't go like this, like every other Dell in the past. You know, they, you can't just shove it straight down either. You have to kind of worm it in. Good luck getting it right. This thing right here is under this thing, which folds down into that cutout. You see that? So the heat sink for the CPU is right under that. That's still warm, Jesus. I want to very briefly tell you why I actually really like these particular Dell small form factor systems. There are a few different reasons, but it all kind of boils down to standardization. So if you look at this system, this is a standard TFX power supply screw layout. You can put pretty much any TFX power supply into this Dell case. And what's this in the back? See this seam right here? Maybe you need a little bit more light. That seam right there, that is a standard IO shield knockout, which means if you look, this board, you can take this board out. This is a standard, albeit small, micro ATX board. Um, I actually don't know if this goes into the case or not. I don't think it does, but you can always tape over it, I guess, but I don't believe it does. So there's a lot of upgradability just because of that standard parts. Now, here's the SSD I'm putting in it. This hard drive, pull, toolless design. Look, you can fit another one down there if you want. I do need to blow it out, so uh, sorry about that. Uh, crap. I should have paid more attention when taking that drive out. Huh. Yeah, that was... Uh, a real genius maneuver there. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, same thing with the optical drive. Pull this up, it slides forward. There's plenty of room to add more stuff. Um, it has just enough ports, but it's mostly just that this thing is actually pretty upgradable and standard. What about the front panel? Is the front panel standard? Uh, well, not quite. That's not a standard front panel, but this front panel can be rewired so that it conforms to a standard ATX front panel layout and used with a standard board. So yeah, it really does all come down to standardization. It's uh, it's not like some astonishing thing, but it gets the job done. Look, it comes with four SATA ports. It's actually a pretty solid case. It's really easy to take this apart, clean it, do whatever you have to do to it, put new parts in it, upgrade, whatever. And yes, it's old, it's quite old. It's a old Windows 7 machine, business class beast. Core i3, whoop-de-doo. Um, I'm in the process for the user. We're putting Windows 10 on it. Um, I don't want to, but they can't run um, certain modern stuff. It's just going to make their life easier. There's a whole lot of stuff on here that would be a little harder if we had to reinstall it all from scratch. So we're doing an upgrade, uh, in-place upgrade instead. But I thought it would be nice just to give you a real quick look at something that Dell did right, because I complain a lot about OEMs and their stupid garbage idiot designs. A whole lot of OEM computers don't have a knockout I.O. shield, don't have anything really very standard inside. This is reusable. I could put a brand new Ryzen 9 setup in here, eh, you know, with some caveats, but I could do that if I wanted to. Um, assuming I could find a TFX supply that would handle it, we'd be good to go. So this Dell right here, what model is this thing? I always forget to get the model. What are you? You're a... Uh, well, it doesn't say right there because it says up there. Optiplex 390. It's an Optiplex 390. So, yeah, out of all the things that Dell has done, I would say Optiplex 390 here, you're fine by me. Dell, do this, not uh, whatever that stupid thing over there is. I hate that computer. Oh, and that one too. I hate that one too. <laughs> yeah, you remember that video? Huh. 
let's forget it. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Um, I'm going to enjoy my Mexican street corn Pringles. All of... I'm not going to enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a good one.